Alright, so we're out here in my shed, and uh, today I thought I'd show everyone how to use one of these. This is actually a uh, spark tester. Basically, it's just a high tension lead that has a light here, and uh, it sends the electricity through the light into your spark plug, and when this light actually blinks, that's telling you that there is spark in the engine, as you can see. So today we're going to be using my Echo PB200. All my other pieces of equipment are actually winterized. So basically you're going to want to start by removing your high tension lead. This looks similar to the high tension lead on the spark tester because it is kind of the same idea. You're going to want to plug the prong into the end of your high tension lead, the boot that goes to the spark plug. Then take this boot and plug it onto your spark plug. Now, when this is in the off position, obviously the light does not come on. When it's in the on position, if you do have a good coil and you're getting sparks, well, you can see that starting to break up. You can see the light right there is actually on. So that's basically how you use one of these. It's very simple, very simple idea. Just the electricity just flows right through here and lights up that little bulb in there. And you can pick these up on eBay for around eight dollars. And it really does make uh, testing spark very quick um, because all you have to do is actually just connect it up to the uh, electronic system on your piece of equipment and. It's basically tool free. You don't need any hand tools, nothing to do this. And it's uh, very simple. They actually sell um, adjustable ones. They are a bit more money. But these ones, they, co they come in great. I actually got this one in a kit, a spark plug maintenance kit that came with everything that you need for spark plugs. The uh, adjusting tool and a wire brush and a T-handle and all the spark plug uh, sockets, stuff like that. But anyways, there is a quick video on how to use one of these, and if you have any other questions with diagnosing anything on small engines, please be sure to comment and uh, tell me what you need. I have been working on small engines for quite some time now, and it's almost guaranteed I can help you out. So thanks for watching. This was another video by Pimpin' Pens. Peace out, guys.